and welcome to the first part in the How to Code Well Python Control Structures course. The first thing we're going to do today is look at the while loop. Now the while loop is a control structure because it changes the flow of the program. And the while loop will be a loop that loops over a particular condition. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two variables and then we're going to equate those and the while loop will run whether that condition is true. So we're going to have x and we're going to equal that to be 10. We're also going to have y and we're going to equal that to be 20. The next thing we're going to do is start our while loop on line 4. And we have that starting with the keyword of while. And notice that my IDE has changed that keyword to be orange because it knows that this is the beginning of a control structure. Now the control structure requires a condition. It's going to check if that condition returns true. And if that is the case, then the while loop will be executed. So we're going to be checking if X is less than Y because at the moment X is 10 and Y is 20. So we're going to have X is less than Y. As always, we're going to have a colon to denote that that is the end of that statement. And we're going now into the body of the while loop. And what we're going to do here is simply just have a print statement. And we're going to be printing out X is less than Y. So print, and then in the parentheses of print, we have the string X is. And what we're going to do is concat the value of X. And X is an integer. And what we need to do is change that into a string. So to do that, we must cast that to a string or str. And we put in X like so. Once we've done that, we can press enter to have another line. Just remove some of that blank space here. And that is our while loop. So as an overview, we have two variables, X and Y. They're both integers. X is set to 10 and Y is set to 20. We have our while loop on line four. And that is checking the condition of X is less than Y. So in this case, X would be 10 and Y would be 20. And therefore this would be true. If that is true, we are printing out this statement. So X is, and then the string representation of X. To test this out, I'm going to go into the terminal here and we're just going to type uh, Python and we're just going to have tutorial one.py. We're going to run that. And as you can see, this is just constantly printing out X is 10. If we just do control C to break that out, we have a keyboard interrupt here. Notice that this is a forever loop. This loop will loop around for infinity because this statement will always be true. This loop will iterate over this statement. Each time it will check whether or not this is true. And if it is true, then this will be printed out. And it will always be true because the values of X and Y never change. We can literally simplify this by removing the variables and just setting this to be true. Let's just remove this and change that to be this will always run. Just remove that white space like so. Now let's save that, go down here and run that command again. We have this will always run. Let's just clear this down to make a little bit of room. And then at the top, we're just going to have control Z and put everything back to how it was. So that is how we can create our while loop. In the next tutorial, I'll be progressing this into how we can actually change the internals of the while loop and manipulate this condition. Please do subscribe to pick that up and all the other tutorials within this series. We're going to be focusing on different types of control structures. It isn't just while loops. There's going to be for loops as well and other things like that coming soon. Happy coding, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.